Welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It's time for yay or nay. Well, earlier this week, a jury decided that the 2013 summer hit, Blurred Lines, did in fact illegally infringe on the copyright of Marvin Gaye's 1977 hit, Gotta Give It Up. It's good to be a gay right about now because, as the jury awarded the gay family $7.4 million in damages, compensation is to be paid out by Robin Thicke, who actually, I did not know this, is the son of Alan Thicke, and the musician soon to be formally known as Pharrell. Just to remind you of the songs in question, here's a little example of Blurred Lines. No more pretending. Okay, and here's Gotta Give It Up. Oh, as I say in the movie, 3 o'clock high, while pain is temporary, film is forever. And last week, during the a we went around the table to share our thoughts on how we thought the trial would go. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to have to be the contrarian here. Yeah. That is a blatant ripoff. Right. It's fun to be right. What we didn't show you is that the panel that included Heather and Rick said there's no way that <laughs> no the judge is going to award the gay family any compensation. It's yes, it is show. fun to be right. Anyway, this isn't the first time an artiste has stolen from another just last year. Sam Smith won a Grammy for his song, Stay With Me, which sounded a hell of a lot like Tom Petty's 1989 hit, I Won't Back Down. Oh, won't you stay? All I mean. This ain't love, it's clear to see. But darling, stay with me. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of. Yep. So the two were so similar that Smith and Petty were smart enough to settle out of court last fall. So, panel, will the music business actually have to come up with original songs moving forward as a result of this lawsuit? I'm going to go yay and nay. Everything is derivative of everything yes. else. What I'd like to see them do, though, is admit it. Right. I love that Sam Smith song. I happen to love Tom Petty even more. Just say I wouldn't be here without him, and then you can do anything you want. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, as you said, there's no, there's no original TV show, there's no original movie, everything's a redo, everything is sort of based on something else, even on Broadway, everything, The Odd Couple's not coming out as a um, sitcom, so I think his music is much the same way, there aren't that many original ideas out there. Are we had ideas, you know, Rick, or Mr. Hollywood? Well, first of all, there's been eight original ideas in the world, I've had none of them. <laughs> I was just going to say. Um, <laughs> This was, look, I mean, the, the, the definitive barometer, I loved that Marvin Gaye cut. I love that record. I have that record. I didn't like Blurred Lines at all. So it's not the same record. These people are crazy. In the Sam Smith case, I actually think that he was not guilty of a ripoff. They settled it out of case. Mm -hmm. Just because you have a stanza where notes are similar. And by the way, George Harrison, of all people, got pegged on this. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's overkill. It's a jury that doesn't really understand what they're talking about. And it's a shame. Yeah. It will hurt the music. I, I think we're, we're totally fresh out of ideas. It would like be doing like a panel show where we talk about big topics of the day <laughs> and we call it the four or something. Anyway, uh, moving from music yeah. to television. I disagree with him in case you want to sue anybody over there. <laughs> I, I'm not Send part of what he just said. No. Mm. Anyway, traditional TV is still king, but its top dog position is steadily losing ground and not just with those born after 1990. According to Nielsen, adults watched about four hours and 51 minutes of TV a day at the end of last year. Okay, so that, that's actually a lot of TV. But that's down 13% from 2013. That's pretty substantial. And get this, 40% of U.S. homes subscribe to streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, or Hulu, while cable ratings for adults fell nearly 10% in 2014. Wow, you'd think the cable companies would lower their prices and make the product work a little bit better or something with all, the, uh, all that traditional <laughs> viewership down, right? So here's the question, given all that information, could you ever imagine giving up your cable service and just go streaming? Yep. 
Absolutely. Yummy okay. yay. Big time yay. I think we're going to look back on this moment and see that this is a just different way of consuming media and the switch is already in process. Great. Yeah. Heather? I'm on the precipice. I've got, I'm almost out of cable and on, totally on my iPad when I'm watching Spring. I'm not out yet because it's still convenient, but within the next three to five years, we'll all be getting it differently. Wow. Nay, distribution. I will cares. never give up my cable because <laughs> that's where Red Zone is, so that's that. Anyway, uh, that's our show for this evening. Wow. It went by so Hello. quickly. It did. We didn't you have fun. It does. That's we right. did. That's true. Any, any final thoughts with your Houston Texans tie on? <laughs> I don't have the Houston Texans tie a lot, but I think that Rick said something earlier which is important. We actually do live at a great moment. We got to be smart, but we can't be cynical. And that will be our last word. You should do speeches or something. You're quite <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Go figure. Yeah. Anyway, that's our show for this evening. Thank you all for tuning in. I am off tomorrow, but the show will be in very capable hands, as we said, with Rick Unger. So be sure to tune into the Daily Wrap right here on Newsmax TV. I'm Joe Concha saying bye bye. <laughs>